In the clip for uh, cumulative frequency diagrams 1, we saw how to construct cumulative frequencies and cumulative frequency diagrams from the basic distribution frequencies. Let's just remind ourselves. We add up all these frequencies as we go down the list and we plot the points uh, on the right-hand end of the interval with the frequencies, or the cumulative frequencies, giving us this cumulative frequency curve. Let's just look at that now by itself and see what we can do with it. Well, the main use for this is for estimating the median and quartiles of the data. What is the median? Well, let's remind ourselves the median is the middle value. And we've got 360 values, so the middle value is the 180th, or technically halfway between the 180th and the 181st, but because there are so many, it's not going to make enough difference, so we just take the half value. 360 divided by 2 is 180, so we look at the 180th value. Let's do that. The 180th value is here on the, on the vertical axis. We draw a line across to the curve, and then down and read a value off the bottom scale, 4.44, and that's, a, that's the median, because that's the value that represents the halfway mark on the vertical scale. The 180th value is 4.44 approximately. This is an estimate, but it's close, so the median is close to 4.44. Quartiles are similar, except they are the quarter and the three-quarter values on the vertical scale. Now, out of 360, the quarter value is the 90th value. And the 90th value, read across to the curve and then down, is going to be 3.53. So the lower quartile is 3.53. The upper quartile has got, by looking at the three-quarter, uh, three-quarters of the way value, and out of 360, that's going to be 270. Three quarters of 360 is 270. So at the 270 mark, we read across to the curve and down. And that's our estimate of the upper quartile, 5.25. To recap, to find the median, we find the halfway value on this scale, which is the 180th value. And we draw a line across to the curve and read down, and we read our, me our median value off the bottom scale, in this case 4.44. The quartiles in a similar way, except that we go for the quarter point, that's the 90 point, to get the lower quartile, which is 3.53. And we go to the 270 point, which is the three quarters uh, way value, uh, to get our upper quartile 5.25. Now that we've got this data, we can do one further simple calculation, and that's the interquartile range, which is the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. In this case, 5.25 minus 3.53, giving us an interquartile range of 1.72. The interquartile range is an extremely valuable measure of spread, and this is a way that we can calculate what the interquartile range of the data is. Here we're looking at a different distribution with a different uh, cumulative frequency diagram. Uh, the values of the median and quartiles are different, but they're calculated in exactly the same way. The median is the halfway, or 180th value, 3.75, and the quartiles, well, the quarter wave value is 90, giving us a lower quartile of 1.89, and the three-quarter wave value at, at 270 gives us an upper quartile of 6.11. Once again, the interquartile range is the difference between the two. In this case, it's rather larger than the last time, 4.22. And with different distributions, we'll get different values, but they're all calculated in the same way. The 180 mark is the halfway mark for the median. The 90 mark is the one quarter way uh, point on the vertical axis, and that gives us the lower quartile. The 270 is the three quarters way value and that gives us the upper quartile. Another example there, another example there, etc, etc. Another important point to realize is that if the total of our data wasn't 360, we'd have to calculate what these points were. Uh, for instance, if there are only 100 data items, we'd have to go for the halfway mark at 50, the quarterway mark at 25, 
and the three quarters way at 75. Similarly, if there were 400 data items instead of 360, we'd be looking at 100 for the quarter, 200 for the half, and 300 for the three quarters. So it does, the actual values we take does depend on uh, the total uh, of all the frequencies, but it's still the one quarter, one half, and three quarters way on this vertical axis that helps us to estimate the median and the, uh, and the two quartiles.